Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last part, we investigated the Waterfall Cave and... Ended up getting kicked out of it, I suppose. Ahem, as I was explaining, there is a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild is planning to mount an expedition, for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please, yes siree. It's been such a long time since we went on an expedition. But that means you're going to be picking members for the expedition from all of us again, right? Precisely. We shall depart in several days. Over these next few days, we will be choosing the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone, work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Yup, yup. I've yet to go on an expedition. I would surely love to go this time. Let's work at it and get picked as members! Alright everyone, it's back to work as usual. Hooray! Ah, you two. Today I want you two to check the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board and handle the list of jobs. That will do for now. Alright, a normal day after yesterday which was quite crazy. So yes, there is an expedition to a lake. But this chapter is called Team Skull and I want to find out why it's called Team Skull. Uh, let's talk to these guys. Alright, look sharp, Diglett! Let's do a good job again today, Loudred. I suppose they don't say all that much. So today they want us to work on the jobs listed on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's try to do as many jobs as we can. Then they'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Let's go check now, Ekla. Uh-oh. Look, those Pokemon. Hey. You two. Ah, that duo. Wait, haven't we seen them before? We sure have. Whoa! Don't think you're so awesome, your victory was just a fluke! Yeah, just you remember that! I... I remember! They're the two crooks that stole my relic fragment! What are they doing here? Whoa ho ho, I'll have you know that we're an exploration team too! <laughs> What's so funny about an exploration team checking out the job bulletin board? What? You're an exploration team? That's right. Though the way we operate isn't always by the book. But what a surprise, why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we're training at this guild. What? You want to become real deal exploration team members? You, come with us for a second. What? What is it? Now don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. You should just forget about being on an exploration team. What? Why? Well, you're quite timid. You scare easily. A scaredy cat like you can't cut it on an exploration team. But... It, it's true that I'm timid. But that's why I'm in training, so I can overcome my own shortcomings. Even now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. Oh? An expedition, you say? Heh <laughs> heh. Well, effort only gets you so far. You won't get picked for the expedition party if you don't have talent, right? It all comes down to talent. Pure talent. Big talk. You sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of skills do you have? Ooh. You are so weak, even we beat you. Whoa, ho, ho. well, we didn't have the chief with us. Ch chief? Heh, <laughs> that's right. Team Skull, our exploration team has three members. Our chief is incredibly talented. To put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. Heh, <laughs> if the chief were here, we'd snap you like a twig. Whoa, ho, ho, speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. 
smell. Here's the chief. Move out of the way. Oh, Eckler. Oh, what's this awful stench? Eeh, it reeks like rotten cheese. That is foul, yes siree. Hey, hey, my eyes are burning. Move it, or do you want to end up like that wimp over there? Oh no. Chief. You showed them, Chief, you're the best. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you two, did you sniff out any jobs that'll bring in the cash? The job bulletin board only posted cheap tasks, but... There's something else, Chief. It's got the potential to go big. What? An expedition from this guild? That does sound tasty. Doesn't it? Let's get out of here. We need to do some plotting. Come on, we're going. Yeah! What are you all staring at? This ain't a public performance. Hehe, <laughs> see you around, wimps. Are you okay, Eckler? Great, it doesn't look like you're injured. That sure was rough, though. I couldn't work up the courage to challenge him face to face. Even though he hurt you, Eckler, I'm ashamed of myself. They're right, I am a wimp. A big chicken. You're not a wimp. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Eckler. But I really am a wimp. But it's nothing new for me. I've decided that I can still do my best, even if I'm not very brave. I'm not going to give up over something like this. I'm going to be cheerful and keep trying. Thank you, Eckler. For now, we better keep working like we've been doing. Today, we're supposed to handle the jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's keep at it, Eckler. Let's do that. Well, Team Skull's pretty cool. What do we got here? We got some Mount Bristle. We got some Waterfall Cave. We're going to accept the Waterfall Cave jobs. Let's see if there's anything here. Wow, that's an A rank. Volatile Corsola. Basement, seventh floor. Let's try the B rank first. Oh, a customer, is it not? Good day, is it not? The new shop, Spinders Cafe, is now open. This wonderful shop is overflowing with hopes and dreams, is it not? Hopes and dreams? That's right! Hey, why not come in? Don't be shy. I don't really know about this. Wanna find out? We have two guests. Wow, this is a big place. Hello and welcome to Spinder's Cafe. My name is Spinder, I'm the owner of this cafe. This is a cafe for explorers who enjoy finding new things every day and who are constantly challenging themselves. A cafe for explorers? That's right. It's natural to want to refresh yourself with a hearty, delicious drink after exploring. So we're delighted to provide this service to explorers, and we trust it will bring them happiness. Today is our grand opening. Allow me to show you around the premises. This is the juice bar. You've undoubtedly collected some gummies and apples during your explorations, am I right? Here, those edibles can become delicious drink sensations. I, Spinder, will take your ingredient and use my incredible skills to create a delectable drink for you. Really? So if we bought you an apple, you'd make some apple juice, is that what you're saying? 
That's right, that's exactly right, and that's how it works. While you're enjoying a nutritious drink, you can sit back and share exploration stories. Here's the next facility. This is the centerpiece of our place, the Recycle Shop. I bet you have a bunch of items in storage that you picked up in your travels and have little use for, am I right? Sometimes you have to throw out your extra items to make room. Doesn't that seem wasteful? There could be explorers in dungeons out there who are desperately in need of the very things you have locked in storage. That's what we thought too, that's why we established this facility. You can bring your extra items here and trade them for some items you want. How does that sound? One Pokemon's trash is another Pokemon's treasure, am I right? I thought it would be fun for explorers to gather and trade items with one another. You'll never have to throw out another item. You'll never have to say what a waste. That's my goal. So if you've got a collection of items you don't need, please make use of our recycle shop. You can even get a bonus prize ticket when recycling items. It's a lot of fun. I know that was a whirlwind tour, but I hope you've got an idea of what kind of a place this is. Oh wow, seems like a really fun shop. Thank you very much. It is my goal to have a cafe of hopes and dreams where many explorers can gather. I hope to see you again soon here at Spinder's Cafe. Man, there is so much going on in here. The music is great. I really like the design as well. It's so cute. But most importantly, there's a Pachirisu here. If you bring in a favorite ingredient, you can have a delicious drink made. Hmm, what should I do? I should splurge and have a drink made with my yellow gummy. I had a bunch of apples, so I had some drinks made. The drinks were so fresh and juicy and delicious. But that was it. I thought my belly would be filled and my HP would be restored. It seems like a drink made from an apple or an orenberry has no effect. Well, at any rate, it was delicious, so I'm not too disappointed. I wonder if there's an effect when you use a gummy. Hehehe, <laughs> there's a new scent. I love Zigzagoon. It seems like a good idea to trade in unused items you've collected for something you want. I've got too many orum berries. I've been thinking of trading them in. Wow, this shop is incredible! It's like a paradise for explorers! This place is really cool. Can we read this now? What about that sign over there? No, I guess not. Well, let's have a look at my items. I have some berries. I have some gummies. This is definitely something I would like to check out. Sounds useful. Hello, welcome to the recycle shop where everyone is happy. Hey, why not? So we can recycle some items and we'll see what we can get. So I can trade. I can get an Oranberry or a prize ticket. Okay. And what can I get? with the prize ticket. Oh, it's a drawing. Okay. But we're not going to do that yet. I think I'll definitely go through my storage and get some items that I don't need to recycle. Did you try asking why not over there? Uh, I guess we can't talk to Wobbuffet. Um, what are these drinks about then? Welcome to the fresh and friendly Spinders Juice Bar. What can we make? We can use a blast seed. Um, sure, let's use this. Use blast seed to make a drink for Ekla? Sure. Added the blast seed. That's right. Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done! Ekla drank the blast seed juice, a light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. Ekla felt happy. I have no idea what that did. But I didn't explode, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, Ekla, were you just at the cafe? Perfect timing. The truth is, I have something to ask you. In the past, when you've wanted to take members with you to explore, they waited for you at this watering hole. But now that the cafe has just opened, everyone has been saying they'd like to wait while relaxing at the cafe. I completely understand that. I mean, I understand how they feel. So, Ekla, what do you think? Would you like to meet up with your team members at the cafe? Okay. 
Thank you, Eckler. I'll make sure to let everyone know. I'm sure everyone will be happy to hear that. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed a secret signpost here. Did you see it, Eckler? No. I I knew it! I'm sorry, Eckler. I guess I should explain. If you ring the bell attached to this sign, I'll come here from the guild. You can still assemble your exploration team here. So when you want to assemble your team, just ring this bell. Maybe you already did ring the bell to summon me here before, and you did assemble your team here. Regardless, you rather carelessly answered my question with a no. Maybe you just wanted to see what would happen if you answered with a no? Anyway, if you ring the bell here, your team will assemble. So try it sometime and see. That's all, Lekwa. Good luck exploring. <laughs> that was some really funny dialogue. This game is so charming. It's got such a good sense of humor. All the characters are really interesting, and I just want to talk to everyone like these bears. I've heard that the time gear of Tree Shroud Forest was stolen. Because of that, time has stopped in Tree Shroud Forest. There's been so much horrible news lately, it's discouraging. Stealing time gears is unthinkable. Who would go around stealing them? Yeah, I really need to stop talking to everyone. I really can't get away with doing that. Hey, it's Team Glee. I remember those guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through storage. I'm going to do some shopping. We're going to get some items for the dungeon, but we're also going to see if we can trade anything. So let's go shopping first. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard. The guild is preparing for an expedition soon. Please do try to be chosen as members. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Let's see. Right then. Blue gummy, red gummy, I'm guessing that's fire. Yeah. Reviver seeds and sleep seeds. Yeah, I still don't have enough money to justify buying Reviver Seeds. I'll take the risk. The guild is going on an exploration, I hear. Ah, it has been a long time. Focus Blast and Toxic, Escape Orbs, Spurn, or Randomly Warps Enemies. Sounds pretty cool, but I don't think I need it. Okay then. Okay, so I took some items out of storage, I put some items in storage quick rundown would be that I added the Reviver Seed to my inventory, I put away some gummies that I didn't need, and I also got out two items that we're going to recycle, because I have no use for them. And those would be the... You want this prize ticket? Okay, let's offer the Cross Eye Seed and the Vile Seed, because I don't think there's any use for those items, because they just have negative effects. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Uh, is he gonna let me? Oh, do I need to do four? It says two out of four. Oh, I can do it from storage. That's so good. That's very thoughtful game design. I appreciate that. And look at all those max elixirs. I guess I need four items to do it. Yeah, you need four of any item. Okay, well, I don't have four of any item at the moment. So, we're gonna keep holding on to our junk until we have enough to trade. Okay then, well, all preparations done, it's time to go back to the waterfall. Wait. I very almost didn't do something very important and that's actually accept the jobs. I've made that mistake before in the first game and that was really annoying. But now, we can actually go to the cave. Here we are again, get to enjoy the great music. Grab this gummy, and this apple. I really hope we can start recruiting some Pokemon now, because we just didn't get to the last time we came out. So... I'd like it if that could happen this time. There are a few Pokemon I saw in here that I would like to recruit. Tangela is pretty cool. I think it would be cool to have a grass type on the team. Uh, there's a few water types around here as well, which would be cool. Like this Poliwag, for example. I do like Poliwag. And we got another power band. Nice. Something's following me, and I'm guessing... Yep, it's a Wooper. Wooper's a great Pokemon. I really like to recruit Wooper as well. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. 
Oh, here's another one. I really shouldn't force palm these things. I should save the PP. A clear gummy. What's that for? Normal types, I would guess. Ice types. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have any ice types either. We're going to find every other gummy than the one we need, aren't we? That's just going to be the way it is. Ah, there's the miss. Ah, but we got a crit to make up for it. That's okay. Wanted outlaw spotted! You've fallen into my trap! Oh, no. Okay, this is a situation we're in right here. Welcome to the monster house. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Right, we need to think about how we're going to do this. Wait a second, why am I force palming it when I have bite? Oh, that did the same amount of damage. Okay, this is bad. We are in a real situation right here. Fully healed. Fast resort. I don't want anything to do with that, thank you. Man, these turns are really long and strict. Okay, we're running away is what's happening here. Omnis might have to die for my sins here. But that's why we brought the Reviver Seed. I, have a, I had a feeling this wouldn't be easy. So that's why I brought the Reviver Seed. Uh, my attack has been lowered and that's really annoying. But we're just going to have to do our best. Omnis, please hit Chingling. Just gonna keep using bite for um, for the cringe. Oh! Okay. Okay. That happened. Ah, uh, that didn't go well. It's harder than I thought. Let's call it a day. Yeah, that really didn't go well. I may have gotten a bit over eager there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow a good day. <laughs> okay, good night. It's a new day. And I have learned my lesson. Probably should have used the escape orb, actually. I think this job might be... A little bit too much for us right now. So we're going to suspend it. Okay, let's give this another shot. And not die horribly this time. Hey, nice. We leveled up. Good, I leveled up. So many grass gummies. So few grass types. I think the only grass type we've even seen in a dungeon at this point is... Tangler, right? Welcome, welcome. Orange Gummy, fighting type Pokemon, like it the best. Give me that. That's great. Hey, and I leveled up. So, something I remember about the first games, Red and Blue Rescue Team, was that to recruit Pokemon, you had to have friend areas. There were certain areas where those Pokemon would stay, and you had to unlock those areas in order to be able to recruit Pokemon that stayed in those areas. As of this point, I've not seen anything like that in this game, so I'm not sure if that requirement is still in the game in a different way, and that's why we're not recruiting any Pokemon at the moment, or if I'm just being unlucky. I don't know what the chances of recruiting a Pokemon are in this game, so, uh, that's just going to be something I'll have to figure out, I suppose. 
I really would like to start recruiting Pokemon. I'd love to add someone to my team. Maybe not Surskit, though. Hey, Surskit wants to join your team. Will you accept Surskit as a team member? Sure, why not? Do I want to nickname the new member? I'm really bad at nicknames, okay? Welcome to the team, Dewey. Yeah, we recruited a Pokemon. That's great. That's cool. Okay, I'm happy. Even though it's a Surskit, I'm still happy. It's better than nothing. We should totally check out Dewey. Summary. And moves. Bubble and quick attack. Or it's stats like compared to us. They're actually comparable. I mean, mine are way higher because of the sky blue bow. But Dewey's stats are pretty similar to Omnis's, actually. So that's not terrible. It certainly put up a good fight as well. It hit me pretty hard with bubble, so... Nice one, Dewey. Good hit. Now, I'm pretty sure you can only recruit one Pokemon at a time. That's a dead end. That's really annoying. Hey, Psyduck. Ah, oh, I'd like a Psyduck as well. Hey, Psyduck wants to join your team. Hell yeah! I can't think of a nickname for Psyduck right now, so I'm going to leave this. I'm pretty sure you can re-nickname Pokemon. If not, I'm sorry, Psyduck. But, like I said, I'm really terrible at nicknames, so please leave your suggestions in the comments. If there's a name rating or renaming surface in this game, I will get right on that and change Psyduck's name. But, as I was just saying I think you can only recruit one Pokemon per dungeon, we recruited a second one! So let's check out Psyduck. Scratch, Water Sport, Tail Whip, and Water Gun. Well, let's immediately turn Water Sport off, because... There's very little use for that. And what are your stats like? Oh, your stats are lower, but you're also a lot lower level. You're two levels lower than Dewey. Okay. Team Dice is growing. Team Dice has doubled. We've reached a destination floor. So we need to deliver you your decoy orb. I don't have a decoy orb. I forgot about that. Well, I guess we can't complete that mission then. Unless there's a decoy orb around on this floor. A Mix Elixir. Hold up a second. That's not a Max Elixir. A drink that restores the PP of all moves, but only for Linoon. It also slightly fills the belly. It is a look-alike item for the Max Elixir. Remember, it can only be used on Linoon, so be careful. Okay, well, that's of very little use to us then, isn't it? We're gonna keep looking around and see if there's a decoy orb on this floor so that I can complete that mission. I totally forgot- Oh no, Psyduck! Psyduck is in a real situation here! Guys, save him! No! That was so cheap, that low tag came out of nowhere! Now you see, the problem here is I believe because it got knocked out before we completed the dungeon, that's it, it's gone, it's not a member of our team anymore. Which is really sad. This hasn't been a great video in terms of gameplay. <laughs> a power band. Oh, that's right. We need to give Dewey an item. Let's give Dewey the power band and boost its quick attack. Since I put away my special band, but I will put that on Dewey. Assuming Dewey survives until the end of the dungeon, that is. Yes, you found the radar orb. We've completed a mission. Let's get out of here. Impressive is not the word I would use. Thank you for getting me the radar orb. The adventurous exploits of Team Dice are an inspiration to me. Please, let me become a member of your team. Yes! Thank you. I'll do my best. I won't disappoint you. A new member joined the team. 
I'm gonna pass on giving Wooper a nickname because I can't think of one right now. We'll come back to it another time. Wooper, join the team. 20 Explorer rank points. Okay, today wasn't a complete disaster then. Compared to yesterday, that went pretty well actually. We did end up with two new members to the team. Just not the two I was expecting. We should get some sleep. Hey, you two! Please don't make us do your sentry duty again. Oh no. I'm sorry, but I have something else to do today. Please take over my sentry duty again today. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. You've done this sentry duty thing before once, right? You'll be fine without me explaining the job again. Yes, no problem. Good. Then let's get to work. Buck up and do a good job. Okay. That is... Eh, uh, Squirtle? Nice. That's very similar, but it's not the same. Nice try, but I think that's Bulbasaur. I think that's not Trico's. They live in small groups. That's not helpful at all. It communicates with electric pulses. It's Luxio's. I should have known that. Okay, we got one more chance. Oh, that is... I want to say that's Breloom's. Nope. <laughs> Heracross. That's a big one. It's definitely not Skarmory. Gallade, perhaps? That's definitely not Taurus. I think it's either Totodile or Croconaw, and I think we had Totodile before, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with Croconaw, and the hint led me to believe Croconaw as well. No, it was Totodile. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Omnis and Ekla, that'll do it. Now get back here. You've worked an honest day. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Your results were... Dreadful! <laughs> I'm sorry. You failed so many times! What nonsense were you up to? Ugh. You got so many wrong! I even got in trouble for it! H Hush! Don't you dare blame anyone else! Sentry duty is a cooperative job, isn't it? Anyway, this job was a flagrant fiasco! As such, there will be no reward. Oh dear. Everything that could have gone wrong in this video has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> That's what you get from a blind let's play. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement before we get down to work. Let me introduce our new allies. Oh, I know who this is gonna be. Allies? What? More new apprentices? Golly, I wonder what kinds of Pokemon they are. Hey, over here, please. Yep, there they are. Ugh, what stinks? Eww, it smells like rotten cheese, ew. Yep, yep, that is some kind of foul stench. There they are. It's your boy, Skuntank! It's them! These three are our new partners. Whoa, I'm coughing. Hehehe, <laughs> Zubat here. Glad to meet you. 
And I'm Team Skull's leader. I'm Skuntank. Remember it. Especially you two. Ha ha ha. What, you're already acquainted? That simplifies things. These three aren't joining us as apprentices. They will be joining our expedition to lend their assistance. What? Why are you so shocked? Chat or sir, it's nothing. That one always overreacts to every little thing. <laughs> mm, very well then. Anyway, the Guildmaster has made his decision. He has decided that having this trio take part will make us stronger on the expedition. However, it would be impossible to coordinate teamwork if we were to begin working together right away. Therefore, we've decided that the trio should live with us for several days. Though it will only be for a short while, I ask everyone to treat our guests with hospitality. Doesn't Shatot think something stinks about this? Literally. Ew, how can the Guildmaster stand this? I sure hope this expedition ends soon, yup yup. Alright everyone, let's get down to work. Hooray. What's this? Where's your usual spirit? You gotta be kidding! This stinks! How do you expect us to be cheerful when- What? what Yum. Yum. No! The Guildmaster is rage is building! The Guildmaster gets angry, it'll be horrific! Everyone, come on, be cheerful, even if it hurts! Alright everyone, let's get down to today's work! Hooray! I want to get off this ride. Ha ha ha. Glad to have met you. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. Something's definitely suspicious about them for sure. I don't know what they're scheming, but we better be careful, Ekla. Ah, you too. Take care of the jobs on the boards today, okay? We're counting on you. Oh man. I want to get out of this cult, on this, this was not a good idea. <laughs> well... Okay, things didn't go particularly well today. But we'll try again next time. I'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.